been no secret that a lot more people have been playing the Horde than they have been playing the Alliance recently and not so recently. It is hard to give legit stats as this always varies from region to region and server to server but on some occasions there are 90% Horde players and Alliance is all but non-existing causing grouping to become nearly impossible even on super high activity days like patch days. It isn't the lore, this really is the true reason they added cross faction grouping in order to balance this out because it definitely started becoming a serious issue. However, the actual question is why is this the case? Is it the racials? Is the alliance just too boring? Are the races just too generic and bland? And why are so many people choosing to play the horde over the alliance? Guys, I have something really cool to show you and that is a really unique mobile game, the sponsor of this video, Heroes of the Dark. Two things made this game really stand out in my opinion and that is the amazing graphics as it has a really unique vampire-esque art style but also the fact that this is a mix between strategy and an RPG. The entire game is set on your mansion, your base operations that you can upgrade and enhance which I gotta say is really addicting. Then from this base you can do a whole bunch of PvP and PvE, you have a lot of heroes you can unlock and level up from vampires, werewolves to humans and then you can send them on missions, you can attack other players, you can do the campaign, you can join a guild and really all with the focus on constantly improving your base and expanding the hero pool. My favorite is Bear Shove on Merrimoth and just how he sits on the throne like a true vampire lord. Best of all, the game is available for Android, iOS and your PC. It took me a few days to really deck out my mansion and you can do the same as it has never been a better time to start. So click the link in the description, download the game and join me right now. And if you click my link, you will get a $15 vampire account as Magla to immediately start your journey in Tenebris. One of the most recently added features that changed World of Warcraft to the core, the game forever, is the addition of cross-faction grouping. While lore-wise this makes complete sense, it really wasn't done for the lore, but in order to fix this major issue that really made the game quite unplayable. On some servers and regions, it was literally impossible for alliance players to find groups and seeing that some people are really loyal to factions and wouldn't even play the horde at all, they would just make people lose interest in the game and that would ultimately lower the player base which is not a good thing for Blizzard and funny enough it would also cause alliance players to quit even more making this disparity even larger. So they decided to finally catch up with the lore and to fix this problem by adding cross faction grouping which I gotta say overall is an excellent thing. Lore wise there really are no issues with this whatsoever as Let's be real, these past few faction conflicts have definitely been quite artificial. So not only does this fix population balance and grouping problems, but it also allows more people to play together. I'm sure almost all of you had an experience when you wanted to play with a friend but that friend plays the opposite faction exclusively or he has a really low level or item level alt in your faction and it doesn't really end up working out for you to play together at the same pace so that endeavor either ends up in you leveling together for a bit and then just calling it a day or just not playing at all. Well cross faction grouping essentially got rid of that problem completely which I gotta say definitely really helped consolidate the player base which has been quite a major issue for Blizzard lately. However the actual question and the actual topic of this video is why? The actual reason why are so few people playing the alliance? What is causing so many players to just choose the horde? Is the alliance weak gameplay wise? Are they just too boring or is it ultimately just one big massive snowball effect? Well personally I think it is a mix of all these factors but one of them is more important than the others. While racials are a thing, I doubt it is just this factor shaping the factions. I know some people are really into like min-maxing gameplay and they just choose races over this but usually the aesthetics of a race are more important. Actually an interesting statistic is that back in classic when World of Warcraft just began, the alliance was the more numerous faction and it was sort of the opposite problem although at that point there were a ton of players, millions and millions of players so grouping was a non-issue. However in regards to why this shifted, I just say it is a way just the gaming world changed overall and just the climate of MMORPGs and just fantasy in general. World of Warcraft while not a completely new genre 
really was revolutionary at the time all the way back in 2004 it was a crazy concept overall it was just like you in this massive world exploring zones fighting monsters and it was crazy that there are actual real world people in the same fantasy world as well do you know what also was popular at the same time lord of the rings movies so i'd imagine quite a bit of people love the concept of playing humans and elves and just fighting monsters orcs the undead and all these apparently wild beings however not only did the game progress but things changed over the years as well more races were added mmorpgs just became an everyday thing and the fantasy worlds just change in general let's be completely honest the alliance is definitely more bland compared to the horde in regards to the playable races and the choices that you have while i'm not really crazy for our single faction personally it just kind of seems obvious on first glance even to people that never even played world of warcraft the allied races fix this issue a bit but seriously you have humans well humans are cool and all few people want to play a world of high fantasy with trolls giants dragons elementals undead and then just play humans that you pretty much see in the everyday world then you have dwarves which are essentially short and bulky humans you have gnomes that are really tiny humans the only really unique race are the night elves and the draenei but they aren't really all that different than the humans especially night elves they're just taller slender humans with ears later down the line the vorgan were added but the vorgan are literally humans that just transform into werewolves and ultimately you have the pandaren but that is a choice for both factions so it really doesn't do all that much for the alliance to increase the diversity so we examine it pretty much only the drana and the vorgan are different but they are also quite human like now on the other side the horde really does offer a lot more options some of the races are just vastly different unlike anything else sure the orcs are like the horde version of humans but really no races are similar to this base race which is the case with the alliance you have the torrent that are just vastly different than any other race and even different when compared to other mmrpgs a bull like race that is twice the size of humans with horns you have the undead which are technically human but they're just a lot more sinister and scary looking you have trolls which are related to the night elves and are completely unique in terms of looks culture and just the way they speak then you have the goblins which are a completely unique race for themselves although some could say they're just tiny orcs only the blood elves are a bit more bland but I think the addition of battles to the horde actually kind of messed up the alliance faction even more because before you could only play elves with the alliance and elves are a really fantasy thing and as I said at the time it was popular with Lord of the Rings but then the horde got blood elves which are literally Lord of the Rings elves and that just gave them even more of a reason to pick the horde additionally even the classes changed before factions were more unique because certain classes could only be played with one faction so a lot of people play the alliance for the paladins however when the of paladins were introduced that kind of pretty much removed that entire edge that the alliance had so ultimately i'd say this is actually the real reason why a lot more people choose the horde overall now it is obvious that blizzard has been trying to fix this problem with the allied races and i gotta say that was actually a brilliant solution but ultimately it doesn't change all that much as most of them are just additions to what is already available just different variations only the void elves are really a drastic choice in regards to the alliance while the horde got the nightborn which are pretty much night elves and the volpera which are a completely unique looking race so while they added more balance here they ultimately gave even more diversity to the horde and even less reasons to play the alliance so really i say the main issue with this is that the alliance is kind of a bit boring especially for first time wild players and the thing is like when people just start the game they generally pick a faction and they usually stick with it and just main that faction pretty much forever while a lot of us came to world of warcraft to the rts game so we already knew the lore we knew that the humans aren't just real world boring humans and that the dwarves aren't just short humans the players that come in later down the line and that are unfamiliar with the franchise this isn't really the case to them these races just look generic like what you can see in every mmrpg and not really all that cool so they kind of just pick the cool looking undead or the tauren and then they just stick with the faction now to combine all this there is the snowball effect where one thing pulls another so there are a few more people that play the horde this means it is easier to find a group if you are a horde it is faster it is more convenient people analyze the server populations and see that it is like a 60 to 40 ratio so they decide to join the majority and then they further increase this difference then 
population. As the difference is further increased, it increases even further. Then the population difference becomes just so vast that a lot of players are literally just forced to transfer to the other faction as it becomes pretty much impossible to find a group or to practically play the game, which on certain server just turns the faction completely dead. In this case, the majority of the cases is the alliance. Now, it is hard to find actual statistics as this always varies from region to region, but if you go to just pretty much any World of Warcraft statistics website, you will see it is like a 65 to 35 percent ratio pretty much almost all the time. There are twice as many horde guilds as there are alliance ones. In some regions, this is even as extreme as an 85 percent to 15 percent, and there are stats that upwards of 70 percent of the player base that actively plays dungeons and raids are hordes, so while it might seem like it is nearly a 50-50 balance, on the server stats, if you're looking to play the game seriously, you are going to have an issue if you play the alliance, so might as well just pick the horde. So I'd say that what they did with cross-faction grouping is actually the ultimate solution. It pretty much just completely removes this grouping and faction disparity barrier, while also catching up with the lore, so it is really just two birds with one stone. Now another thing they could also do is what they're doing with the Dracthir and the Pandarians, so having a race that can join both of the factions, which means that people can now play the dragons even if you're the horde or the alliance. So no longer are the horde the monsters while the alliance are the human-like races. I feel like because of these trends, it means that in expansions after Dragonflight, we might get these types of races that will be available to both factions because if they continue adding races to each factions, it is highly possible that people just find one of them cooler looking and they just pick that one, further increasing the disparity. Thank you for watching, check out how the Alliance got back the nails by clicking on the screen and check out the Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.